Hello there, I'm Carla. And I'm Kevin. And this is our week two here at Wednesday Hop in August 2015. All right, so we're still working on rhythms and clarity of our steps four count versus six count or steps versus triple steps. And what we did, you can review the stuff from last week. We reviewed that as uh, at the beginning, but we also did something from crosshand and we brought the follower into like a cuddle position going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and saying the follower back out. Um, yep. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see when we do here that you're definitely going to want to pocket the follower in a little bit. Boo, wa, ah, da. And we're really using rotation and a lot of body movement here. Right, to make sure that we're telling the follower step in one beat, get here right now. Don't take your time with two beats or a triple step. If no, we, we yeah, and then we did that. We put a triple step in I instead of the step. So we went buwa atita atita abuwa atita atita. Yeah, um, and Kevin was showing you, which I thought was really helpful, about taking this arm slowly down the track, leaders, right? So one, two, three, and four. Look where I am on that four. He's only turned me a little bit down the track. And the second triple, it travels back. Same on the way out. Travel, release slowly, travel. Versus on the four of the four count, right? Or the two of the, the, the yeah, the three actually. We're way, way in. Sorry to, to stop that. We're way, way in sooner, yeah? So we're using just one beat there, yeah? Because if we do the triple step when we ask our follower to come in too quickly, yeah. it can work, but it'll look kind of weird. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four, five, I'm like, six. what footwork should I choose there? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. so tempo yeah. also dictates how you turn. Yeah. Um, and then we just mix those, kind of doing a f maybe a four count in and a, si a six count out kind of thing. So if we just go one, two, three, four, and then going to triples on the way out and vice versa kind of thing. Atita, atita, abu, wa, a, a, bu, wa. And then we had you guys practice doing like a four count dance that's kind of spiced up with six count or triple steps or eight counts versus like the four count being the spice that you had into the dance just to get used to doing that. Um, and then we worked on a tuck turn here. So we did it with six counts and just added an extra turn for the followers. Back up a little bit so we don't oh. I don't think we will. We're pretty far. We'll see. <laughs> the biggest tuck turn ever. Seven and a boo -wah. So if you see what happens here, let's do it this way. You can see how Kevin's arm kind of gets a little bit kinked up. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight. And we stop right on that um, end of the first tuck so you can see the arm. One, two, three, on the six. We freeze right here. Notice that he's moved his body into this space. That creates actually more rope that we can use for our turn. Step, step. Boo wah. And we said, what do you kind of feel like after that move there? Well, we kind of feel like doing like a four count or something urgent. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven. Catch it. Boo wah. Ah, da. So kind of mixing these ideas together. I think that was it. Yep. All right. Thanks. We'll see you next week. Thank you.